lot, geek fans. Welcome back. It's time for another review. We're doing a spoiler review of season two of Daredevil. Remember, spoiler review. Jacob, let's get right into it. What did you think? Okay, so uh, going into this season after watching the first season of Daredevil, which we both thought was amazing, I thought that this season was, if not just as good, if not better, just as good at least. Because it, it was a very good season. I thought I loved the Punisher in this. Because, like, just like Batman in the Batman v Superman, he was probably the most positive thing about this. Because I thought that John Bernthal just nailed this role. Brought it. Yes, he, he was the Punisher in this. So, uh, liked him, liked Matt's evolution into uh, the actual Daredevil character from the comic books. I, I liked Elektra, she was serviceable in the role, but what did you think? Jacob, uh, I thought this was a, a great season. I didn't like it quite as much as the first, though. I don't. Th though again, like uh, another recent review we did of Batman v Superman, that doesn't necessarily think, mean I, I think it's worse than the first season. Yeah. I was really impressed by by a lot of the writing this season and a lot of the attention to details. But first, for the for, for the big points, the Punisher, uh, amazing. Yes. Simply outstanding. Every every time the Punisher was doing stuff, I'm like, this is awesome. On the other hand, I was disappointed in Electra quite a bit. Okay. Now I wasn't disappointed too much because I didn't have because my hopes weren't that high for her yeah. after seeing her trailer when I went uh oh is this gonna be kind of a little generic with, yeah. with the relationship thing and it was yeah. I did the first actually I really actually I absolutely disliked her for like the first two episodes she was on because that first episode I think like she's fighting Matt in the ring and and she and she's talking to him and it's, it's like a love it's like the dance scenes yeah. where where they're, where they're doing exposition via dancing this is exposition via fighting. And it was just cheesy. Yeah. And I never really bought their relationship. Like, the, the crux of it was their, their relationship. And yeah. I never really, I'm like, really? You're with her? Yeah. And con contrast that with, with um, that, that, the, the blonde. Um, yeah, I can't remember her name right now, but I know what you're talking about. Right. <laughs> is it, the, that relationship I thought was actually believable. Like, I'm like, wow, this actually is a believable movie relationship. I was disappointed to see that end. Yeah. Right? Because the electric relationship, I never bought... Um, and also the, the the combat scenes with Elektra, I thought were, I thought were more Hollywood. So overall, this season of Daredevil, I thought the combat in general went more Hollywood. Yeah. It went less realistic, went more Hollywood. Yeah. And I and and I you might you might knowing me you might go oh, you must have really hated that and I kind of did. But on the other hand, I was really impressed by how they distinguished every character's fighting style. Yeah. Like and, and how they, they they made Daredevil. This is Daredevil's fighting style. This is Elektra's fighting style. This is Kingpin's fight style. This is the Punisher's. Yeah. They all have a certain combat style, and it's really differentiated. Compare that to say like the Arrow, yeah. where it's like they all they all it's all, it's all kind of same. It's samey. Yeah. This is like wow, it's like it's the, it, and then they all fit their personalities, their fighting style. Yeah. So if that that's a clever move they did, even if it meant they had to move away from realism a bit. Yeah. But it was a clever move. So so I appreciate that kind of writing. Yes, and and uh, speaking of the fighting in this season, I thought it was awesome. Just, just um. In the in the third episode, when he's in that stairwell, even though they did it, it tried to make it seem like one shot, and it obviously wasn't. I thought it was still really well crafted. I loved how like because he he has has a gun taped to one hand, so he can, can't use that. He has a chain wrapped in at the, around the other hand. He's just swinging it at people. <laughs> he, he wraps it around like one, one guy's neck and pulls him down. <laughs> I, that was that was a really awesome thing, and it happened right after that. Um, really well written scene on the rooftop where he's like uh, Punisher is trying to make him be like the Punisher yes and, and he, he starts to embrace that a little bit when, when he's going down the stairwell but he doesn't go over over that hump and kill anyone yet so I, I really like that in in that that whole um that whole uh, uh, scene when, when they're on the roof I actually thought that was that that, that, that was where I, I started to like John Bernthal as the Punisher because because we didn't really get anything from him in, in the like the uh, the first two episodes. No, right. we, but but he he was acting like Punisher like to me he was yeah. fine. I was wi I was waiting to get to hear more. Yes, and um, but I loved how like because this season was pretty much like cut into like three different storylines. It started off with the Punisher. Like the first four episodes. Yeah, and, and in those first four episodes, we get a, like a Punisher Daredevil fight every single episode. I I was so surprised that we got one in the first episode yep. itself, and um so. I love that, and I loved the the last episode of that storyline where you get to see the Punisher just go all out and just kill all those guys that that um, that like were behind killing his family. So 
I really like that. I love when he just shoots that one guy's face off and they show it. They, 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 like, like this, this season was so rated R. I loved I it. I love yeah. it. Yes. Yeah, so, um, then, then moving on from that, we enter Electra. The Electra storyline. Yes. Which was my the lowest part of my season for me. Yes. There was a dip. Yes. I didn't like it. Yeah, I, while I liked the character of Electra, I, I'm with you. I, I absolutely hated their relationship. But it, while I hated Matt and Electra's relationship, I liked what she was to him because while Punisher was trying to pull him into becoming a killer now she was doing that from the beginning so I, I liked that part of it but I hated at I hated at the end in the third storyline when when they, they try to get together and then she dies and it's like that that was so like I, I saw it coming a mile away like as soon as they're like we're gonna run, we're gonna run away together I uh, She's she's gonna die. That's it. I just oh, know that's the item. Oh uh, yeah, that really bothered me. I never, I should, like you said, I never bought it. Yeah. I'm like, I never was like really or that into her. It always felt like no, I don't believe this. But anyway, let's talk about so the Electro storyline. We see her for a few episodes, and then the bit to me, my favorite, I mean, perhaps my favorite episode of the season, or at least like where it really turned around for me. Because up to that point, like I liked the Punisher, but I was I was a little, I didn't like it quite as much still as the first season. And then, and then the thing I loved most about the first season came back. That was that was um, Kingpin. Yeah. When they yeah. show King, when, when I saw the guy lifting the weights, I'm like, wait, is that Kingpin? Like before they even showed him, they just showed the guy lifting the weights. I'm like, is that his hands? And they showed Kingpin, yeah. and I freaked out. I love Kingpin. Yeah. I think uh, who's got you know the actor that plays him? Um, Vincent D'Onofrio. No, Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah. His performance, I think, is the best. At, at, of the show, yeah, at, my favorite performance show. I, I love how how he's still kind of like that, like meek boy. Like yeah. you see him, like he's in some scenes when he's talking to people, he's kind of passive and like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I don't mean I don't mean to, to intrude. And then, but as soon as you piss him off, yeah. he just goes crazy. What yeah. the fuck are you doing? Yeah. He starts smashing people, yeah. just beating the hell out of them. Yeah, <laughs> and I love that we got a, a Punisher Kingpin. Fight yeah, too. that was awesome. Yeah. and you can see the, you can see his fight style. It's just wild and brawling because he's yeah. a big dude, right? Yeah. Just anger, boom. Yeah, you know. And, and the, it kind of um, goes with Punisher's fighting style, too, because even though he's more focused with yeah. his fighting style, it's still all anger. Because mm -hmm. it's still all anger and rage. And I love the fight scene before that, where he, he had kind of his uh, own hallway scene, where he fought all those guys. Awesome. And, 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 and I loved how like the one guy's face falls on his chest, and then it, it's a blood stain of, of his uh, symbol on, on his chest now. So that I, I love that. And I'm really hoping that we get a Punisher solo series because Netflix has been considering that, and, I, and I'm I'm sure I'm sure sure we will now because just, that's the way they they left it off at the end. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. And so uh, I, I liked how even though um, Punisher's storyline was basically over for the season, they, they they continued it, and his appearance at the end what was just like. Just, for, just like to, to uh, like be there. Like, yeah, I guess it was fine. Yeah, but so, so I, I liked how um, I liked the season overall. But I thought the the ending could have been a little bit, you know, more like bringing everyone together. I thought, but like, the, I mean, well, I, the thing with that, like, like so the big bad ended up being the hand. Yes. Which I found the hand to be kind of generic, I, like whatever. I, I found the hand storyline to be a little bit convoluted. I thought. Yeah, that too. Like I was confused by a lot of what was happening. Like a lot of the players and why are they mad? Like who is against who and who's with who? Yeah. And then they had the weird children of the corn kids. Yeah. And I'm like, what the hell's going on now? Yeah, I I didn't really um I overall I understood it, but I thought they could have explained it better. Like it, I just found it to be so generic. And, and I wonder, I gotta wonder how many uh like uh, rent a thugs they got on staff. <laughs> My God, they there's so many scenes where there's dozens and dozens and dozens of guys where Daredevil, Punisher, whoever beats beats the fuck out of people. Yeah. <laughs> you know they're like the same guys, right? Over and yeah. over again, like the same yeah. actors. Yeah. Like it's like how many rent a thugs can you possibly get? Yeah, yeah. And, and like especially for, for the hand ninjas. I'm sure they, <laughs> I'm sure they just have like the same ten guys yeah. in, in in the ninja costumes again. But um. I and that's another, that's another thing that made it, that it made it less believable. Yeah. You know, all the ninjas and all this silly yeah. stuff. It made it less grounded than, than in the first season, I yeah. felt. Which, I like that groundedness. But, as far as I can tell, people people liked it that it was more comic booky. Yeah, people I, enjoyed that aspect. I, I did enjoy that. Um, 
Yeah, as well because and I I liked how they started to add in a little bit more of the the supernatural side of the Marvel universe with, with the uh the black sky yeah which was introduced in the first season with with that one kid that uh stick came to kill oh yeah yeah. yeah yeah I um I forgot about that but then a friend of me uh, reminded me about that and um but it makes me it makes me a little bit confused because. How is that kid Black Sky, but Electro is also Black Sky? And I'm not really sure how Black Sky works. They didn't really explain that <laughs> that that much. But um, but I I did like um that that whole. Part uh, also, why didn't she did she take command? What, what was her reasoning? I was a little confused by that. Why yeah. did she just take and then like make him do good or something? I, I, I think they they like still wanted to use her for for, for their world domination needs. But like, but but she was uh, I, leader. Yeah, I don't know. I it, that that also didn't make any sense. But. But there there were positive things about the hand storyline. I like seeing um, Nobu. I think his name was the the guy that got burned to death in the first season. But then now he's back to life. I like, I like seeing him again. And he was kind of like he he was kind of like like the uh, the leader of of the yeah. That, that, he was a leader. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was yeah. bizarre. Like I said, I never really bought that. It was yeah. weird the leadership thing. Yeah, yeah. They, they didn't really do a good job of explaining that. And um, another uh, negative was I thought that the whole thing about. Daredevil turning into a killer that kind of got lost in, in, um, in, into the third storyline of, of the season even though at the end he like yeah, as, as far as he knew he, he killed that guy at the end but but um but it, it still didn't like it kind of got lost in, in all, all the other stuff that was going on so but but um it, it still didn't bother me that much and then I, I liked how at the very end just, just, just uh, came back and cut off his head at the end <laughs> but, uh, I, I like seeing that but um uh, overall, it was a very good season. I thought they had a lot of positives. The Punisher, just how violent e- everything wa- was in the season. Um, Daredevil becoming more of Daredevil, like like he was in the comic books. That actually, I've been there for four years. I was really impressed by. So, in the first season, Daredevil is not wearing armor. He, you know, he's just some dude fighting. Yeah. Here in this season, he's got his whole suit on. And you actually notice a difference. Yeah, it's amazing. Like that you actually see. Like he's he's. More, I expected him to be lazy. and It's gonna be the same shit. Yeah. But he has armor now. It makes no sense. Yes. No. He actually is noticeably stronger. Yeah. Like and tougher. Like you see him get hit and yeah. shot. You see yeah. stuff happening. Yeah. Yeah. He gets shot in the face at the beginning and, and right. he survives because because of his helmet. Right. You actually you actually see how it's actually making him a better fighter because. Yeah. You know, like the the red the thugs don't they hit him with their bats and their knives. Yeah. He, he he can take it now. Yeah. I like that attention to detail. I, I love when they do that when they actually pay attention to those kind of things. Yeah. And, and, um, I like like some of the Easter eggs in this with uh, the the guy that makes uh Daryl little suit for yeah. him. Um, in the comic books, he he's a guy known, known as the Gladiator. He has like his weapon is like the the like saw blade thing, and and. Um, there's that part where he, where he like he shows Daryl Daryl his, his uh, own armor yeah. like that that's his uh, color scheme from the comic books. So uh, I was seeing all all those little uh, re- references and e- Easter eggs. Um, but and I also liked how Daredevil finally got his weapon that he has in the comics at the end, the the, the uh, Billy Club thing. Oh, I didn't know that. I, yeah, I didn't realize that. Like, like he has that. He, he can use that as a grappling hook, like uh, they said. So I like how. Now, at the end of the season, he's finally, like... He is Daredevil. Yes, and another thing I want to mention really quick was I liked how it, we actually got to see them as lawyers in this. Yes. Like, finally, we got to see them in a courtroom. Foggy, and, Foggy was much better in this season because I liked, I liked his courtroom antics. Yeah, and I liked how um, his, his whole thing with um, how Foggy Nelson is now gone. Yeah. So, um, and uh, another thing uh, for reference to the Easter eggs, we got to see um, that one character from uh, Je- Jessica Jones. Yep, yep. the lawyer. Yeah, yeah we got, got to see her. And, and, and there was a uh, name drop for uh, Jessica Jones. So they're, they're obviously uh, pre- preparing to bring them all together well, once they get Luke Cage and Iron Fist figured out. Let's do this. this. Yeah, so I'm excited. So then, Jacob, remember this is a TV series review, so we do a letter yes. grade review. So what are you going to rate Daredevil season I'm, two. I'm gonna give Daredevil season two a B plus. Ooh, a B plus. Yes, Jacob. I am gonna. You know, I wasn't about giving this an A minus, but now your B plus has given me confidence yeah. <laughs> because I'm now gonna give it a B plus. Yeah, it it, it just. I, I like the yeah. first season a little more. Yeah. For me, because because mostly because of Kingpin. Yeah. It's mostly because of him. I I think I liked um the first season more just because it was like just 
one straightforward storyline. This one had multiple storylines, and even though it worked, it was still just a little bit... They were uneven, because, like, yeah. The Punisher was really good, but then Electra wasn't so good, yeah. right? Whereas in the first season of Daredevil, it's just like, it's all Kingpin storyline, yeah. and Kingpin's just great, yeah. so it's like, it's all good. Yeah, and, and I also I, I always like seeing origin stories and how a character, like, like gets more powerful as, as the, the story goes on. So that's why I like the first season more. All right, then we we both give it a B plus. We both highly recommend you go watch yes. it. In addition to that, watch the other uh, Netflix shows because they looks like looks like they're creating a Marvel Netflix Netflix universe kind yeah. of deal. Because there's not that many references to the greater MCU. Yeah. Whatever, it's fine. So just watch that stuff. B plus for both of us. Stay tuned next time to Geeks at the Movies for more great reviews. Later, guys. Yeah.